yo yo what's going on youtube family on today's video you guys will be able to see me clean out the uh puppy area getting ready to uh mop disinfect the pad and freshen up their uh wood chips um i already got started but then i thought hey this will make for a good video show you guys more behind the scenes especially with with things that i do when i take care of the dog so i figured i'll start what i'm doing grab my grow pro and you know start doing some recording I said in the previous video guys i normally change out this stuff um once every day day and a half it really just depends on their activity how much poop and pee and if they got it wet from drinking water and things like that so normally what i do i go ahead on and lift up the pen go ahead on and lift on up the pen and Push them out on the main floor. These wood chips tend to get everywhere. It makes quite a mess, but this is the best thing that I have found to work for me uh, when keeping this area clean. It keeps the dogs nice and clean. It keeps them from getting their undercarriage wet, and it also helps with the smell, guys. So for anybody, I would recommend this. But hey, I know we have a couple other breeders that subscribe to the channel. If you guys got any other tips or information you want to share with me, I'm open, guys. I am definitely open. All righty, guys. Once I get it cleaned, then I grab me a bottle of bleach. I grab me a bottle of bleach and I throw it on the pad, let it sit on it for a little, probably for about anywhere between like five to 10 minutes so it can break down the boo-boo. Uh, of course guys, the um, chips do a great job with observing everything, but hey, they're not 100% poop and pee proof. As you guys can tell, a couple of them seep through from the puppies running around and stuff like that. So that's perfectly normal. You know what I do guys, I just, Pour the bleach on there, let it sit, let it work its magic. Let it work its magic on the puppy pad. Um, just let it sit for a little while. So I'm going to let this sit for a little minute, guys. And then we'll catch you guys in the next scene. Like I said, guys, I'll let the bleach sit anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. Let it go head on and work its magic. Makes it easier for when I mop the... Uh, when I mop the pad, it comes off a lot easier because that pee, that uh, bleach breaks down the boo-boo and things like that. Pups are still doing good. As you can tell, one is over here really enjoying itself. Actually, that's a female pup that will be going to Point Sienna, and her name is Karma. She'll be going to Point Sienna to a wonderful family. She'll be going to Point Sienna to a wonderful family. And this one right over here with the pink collar, her name is Diamond. She'll be going to Lake Wales, Florida. And then we also have another pup by the name of Banner. Banner will be going to Arbindale. Let me see if I can, where's Banner? Banner is right here in the cut, guys, over here with the heart collar, just chilling, relaxing. So those are a couple pups and their names. Um, we also have a pup going to Port St. Lucie, and we also have another one going to Lake City. The male pup that's going to Lake City is right there with the blue collar on. So, majority of all these pups, guys, are going to a wonderful home, a great family home, kids in the home. Um, they're going to great homes. We still have two available pups in this litter. We still have a male pup that hasn't been spoken for yet. And we still have a female pup that hasn't been spoken for yet. So you guys feel free 
you give me a call at 863-547-5375 for more information on this litter. But all of the pups are doing great. They're doing great. They're running around. They're playing. They're turning out to be pretty good pups, guys. All right, guys, getting ready to mop this pad. Go ahead on and get it nice and clean. Then after we mop the pad, I'll let it dry anywhere between five to 10 minutes. And then I'll freshen it up with new wood chips. Gonna give you guys a close up on the pad so you can get a better idea of how easy the bleach makes it when you're cleaning up the poop residue. got to make sure guys you keep everything nice and clean for these animals you got to make sure you keep everything nice and clean all right guys we got the pad nice and clean i'm gonna let it dry i'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes then we'll be putting down some fresh wood pines be putting down some fresh wood pines guys it's um very important guys when you are uh welcome a litter of puppies that you keep everything as clean as possible that you keep everything as clean as possible you want to keep the puppies nice and clean you want to make sure they always have fresh water you want to make sure that their uh, area is always clean and sanitary all right guys the pad is 100 percent dry we're getting ready to add the new flakes in once i get the new flakes added in then i'll clean up on the outside wipe the puppies off make sure they're nice and dry then i'll put them in a nice clean area Like I said, guys, these flakes come from Tractor Supply. These flakes come from Tractor Supply. They're not that expensive, but trust me, they make a big difference, especially with the smell. And I normally put them down like that, guys, and then I, then I spread it out with my hand. Of course, when the puppies get in there, they run around and, spread, and, and run around and play. They'll spread a lot more but this just gives them a good foundation to start on. They have different size wood shavings. I recommend that you guys get the biggest one as possible because sometimes the puppies tend to try to chew on it and you would hate for one of them to choke. So I recommend that you guys get the biggest flakes possible because they can be a choking hazard. That's one of the things that I can say that, that are a con when it comes to the place. But hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Right, guys we got all this freshened up as you can tell i got them spread it out nice kind of heavy in some parts but like i said when the pups get in here and they run around and play they'll spread them out all right guys we're getting ready to put the pups back in their play area normally what i do guys i wipe them off before i put them down in there this right here is a black collared male he's actually was the second pick in this litter a nice big healthy male pup guys nice big healthy male pup he puts me in the mind of dollar with his head type and also his body structure like i said we put them in there and as you guys can tell they do run around and play so it's going to get spreading out evenly all right guys so he didn't waste no time guys he's already peeing in there but like i said that comes with the game comes with the territory.
This dark job is definitely not for the weak, guys. This job is not for the weak. It's a lot of cleaning, a lot of hands-on. But like I tell you guys all the time, we do what we love and we love what we do here at Davis Rock Rollers. This right here is a blue collar male pup. He will be going to Lake City. He was the third choice out of the litter. He will be going to Lake City, guys. Beautiful male. And like I said previous, guys, no matter how much you clean, it's never 100% clean. So it's definitely a full-time job. The pups are still going to do what they're going to do. As you can tell, we already have a couple of them dropping me some gifts, but that's totally fine, guys. That's totally fine. Guys, I got to clean up the floor anyway, so it's not no big deal. I got to clean up the floor anyway. Got to clean up the floor anyway. Woo. All right, guys. This right here. This right here is a. Uh, gray and green collared female she's actually one of the females that haven't been spoken for yet guys Woo. like i said guys you can, they gonna do what they're gonna do they're gonna do what they're gonna do no matter what no matter how clean you get it guys it's never gonna stay 100 percent clean but you want to minimize it you want to minimize it. Truth be told, I'd rather them use the bathroom and poop while I'm back here so I know that they're clean. Alrighty guys, we got everything nice and clean. Everything nice and clean guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in on this episode here at Davis Rock Rollers. We definitely appreciate the support. And I also want to send a special shout out to all the clients on this list. The puppies are doing amazing, guys. We're almost to the finish line. These pups will be going to their forever home next weekend, guys. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll definitely catch you in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>